The hubby knows the way to my heart. Water, gum, and coffee. Friday, and I'm wearing color, so I wanted to show you. Um, I bought this sweater, if you guys watch my Thrifters Anonymous channel, um, from Goodwill, and it's really chilly outside right now, so I'm kind of excited that I can actually wear it, but it's a really cute, like, neon sweater, and it's just kind of a longer, and I'm just wearing these high-rise um, skinnies from American Eagle, and some shoes I got at Ross, and I'm stepping on my dog's bed. Um, my hair, of course, is dirty and in a bun. Thus is um, how it usually is. And yeah, so I'm getting ready to go off to a meeting. Um, I have exciting things planned. And then I've got my workout today. Um, so I am going to fill you guys in a little bit later. I'm just going to kind of focus on my, my meeting that I'm going to have. And then I will um, take you guys with me to whatever I do. I had my breakfast and I took my vitamins and um, yeah, so, alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, friends. I'm trying this um, camera situation. Uh, it's Saturday and, oh. <laughs> okay. So today I'm going to go searching for a little, um, like mini car mount thingy for my camera. Oh my god. So funny. Um, <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at me. It's just gonna keep falling over. <laughs> hey all, good morning. Oh my god, this is silly. Okay, um, well let's see what happens. I just wanted to chat with you because I'm getting ready to go over to my first Pilates class in a really long time and we're trying to switch it up every weekend um, just to keep our body guessing and to you know find funner ways to funner to find ways to have more fun um, you know just burning some calories we've got to get some cardio in um, it's kind of crunch time at this point oh my God. <laughs> it's kind of crunch time at this point uh, okay never mind let me just like that. Okay. Uh, it's kind of uh, getting close to the time and um, I'm excited about this competition. It's the first time that I feel like I've done like a real prep and competition. I've only been with Kim for technically three months. Um, I've been working with Stacy for six months. So it's really been like six months of training with, with the 702 Angels um, locally here. Um, you know, for me, I, I like to train with the team. I like the team aspect, um, but I mainly just like to work out with my friends. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Um, and I found, you know, Stacy's gym. It's not like your typical gym, so I think that's why I like it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about joining City Athletic Club, though. You guys have already probably seen that vlog. That gym is gorgeous. I fell in love with it. I just need to like find a sponsor to pay for it because. <laughs> Um, all of this is starting to add up, and um, luckily I've got my uh, Color by Boutique up, so thank you all of you who've already purchased something. Um, I'm trying to make the prices reasonable. Some of the pieces are really, like, uh, nice pieces that I spent quite a bit for, um, but they just may not fit me anymore. They may be too big, or maybe some of them are too small. I do that too. I'll buy stuff and be like, hey, yeah, this doesn't fit me. Um, when you're addicted to thrifting and you're addicted to shopping, you do that kind of thing. So, um, shipping is becoming annoying. So, any recommendations for shipping, please send them my way. Um, priority seems to be like the safest, and then priority flat rates are, you know, easier because you don't have to weigh it. But some of the stuff don't weigh a lot, and so I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to charge more. So then I end up not really charging much for shipping, and then I end up like not, not really making anything. It's more like just giving them away. So. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, you know me. I wish I could just send everybody my stuff um, and then continue to shop. But I've got to find some sort of means of um, value to you know to it. We want to continue to to film and, and stuff like that for their just on So, anyways, yeah. Let me drink some of my coffee here. Um, 
what else? Yeah, so there's Pilates class. I'm excited. It's a couple girls from the um, 702 Angels that are going to meet me there. And um, I haven't done Pilates since I've done ballet. Um, we used to do a lot of Pilates. It lengthens your muscles and um, it's great strength and training. And it's just another great way to kind of change it up and burn some calories. So I was not feeling well yesterday. Um, I was just really, 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 really tired. I, I don't know. Some days are like that, and, um, and so you kind of just have to listen to your body. I'm gonna have to make up for um, my cardio yesterday. Sorry, I have to make up for my cardio from yesterday today, but I'm, I'm okay with that because I feel better. So I'm gonna stop filming so that this thing can stop like falling every time I make a turn or do something, and then I will talk to you guys um, there. I'll try to show you <laughs> what the Pilates studio looks like. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the class. We just finished. Um, it is called Club Pilates. Oh, sorry. This is YouTube. <laughs> Club Pilates. It was good. We needed it. Um, it's been a while since I've done any sort of stretching whatsoever. Um, so it was good. But anyways, talk to you guys. All right, guys, look what I just found. You can do a $5 class. If you use promo code first fifteen, which is kind of cool, and um, yeah, it was it was really nice. It was like a private session, so you can go online, and also I think they're on Yelp too. So oh, and they have an Instagram and Twitter. Look at that. All right. Well, thanks guys for coming with me. Hey guys, so I am actually at Trader Joe's right now. Um, just finished up that Pilates class um, you guys saw. And I loved it. Um, I felt really good. It was nice to do something different. Um, it, uh, I felt the burn. Our booties were on fire. And it's so important to um, engage that muscle. And it's like when you do all these squats and stuff, um, depending on how your body is, you know, you activate a different portion of your legs. And for me, I'm always activating my quads, um, which take over you know, my hamstrings and my glutes. Um, so I just have to do different exercises than a lot of people. So it was just a nice change. But if you live in Las Vegas, um, he said, I need to find out, but, uh, mention, mention my name. I think I'm going to try to see if I can get like some sort of discount, but the first class is $5 with the voucher. Um, the code is, and I think if you mentioned my name, it helps me. I don't really know. I mean, you don't have to, you, know, you don't have to mention my name. <laughs> I don't even know what, I feel like there was a, oh, first five um, as a promo code. But let me know you go, because I do want to let him, I want to see, like, um, if I can help him out. You know, he just opened it. It is a franchise here in Las Vegas, and he's trying to get a younger crowd. Um, I think Pilates has a tendency of, I don't know, just a, maybe it's an older crowd. I don't know. He was telling me that um, he'd like to get some younger people in there. It's kind of a better grouping. Um, right now, it's kind of like a one age group, um, but maybe a more well-rounded group so that everybody can feel comfortable. So um, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm saying. I need to eat, obviously. Um, but I am at Trader Joe's. I'm going to pick up some stuff. My coach hasn't given me my new meal plan for the week. I am sure he's going to cut out a few things, um, but uh, I'm just going to pick up kind of the norm um, from what I, I always pick up, and I probably will not film in there again because I always am um, worried about getting in trouble inside of the Trader Joe's. So um, yeah, I'm going to go inside and then I will catch up with you afterwards. Alright All right, guys, that was hard. There's a lot of things inside Trader Joe's that... I wanted to eat <laughs> um, this one in particular. I got a Danish Kringle. Everybody was telling me inside of Trader Joe's that it was delicious. I guess you warm it up and it's really, really sweet. Um, and it's really good with coffee. So I'm getting this for my uh, family for tonight because it's break the fast pace over. Pace over. Passover. And um, I also got these. I, Donnie and I ate one of these at the end of our competition last or two years ago. And um, it's the best cupcake ever. And it's actually really not um, too fattening as far as like a cupcake goes. But man, is it delicious. So I got this for Break the Fast as well. Um, I'm just going to stick that in the fridge. And then, of course, say hi, Sashi. The dog's out. 
Um, and then I was going to do a quick haul for you guys. Um, pretty much, Samson, go outside. Pretty much the same thing that I always get, but there are a few little things that I got that, um, were different. Uh, so I thought maybe I will show you that. Um, so here we go. I got some more iceberg lettuce because I'll be making salads at night. Uh, okay, and then I got, okay, so I got some sparkling water. I don't normally want sparkling water, but for some reason this water looked delicious. It's, um, it's orange flavor. <laughs> I don't know. Is that silly? There's only, um, 35 milligrams of sodium and there's zero calories and I don't know, that just sounded really good. At this point, everything sounds good. Got another thing of olive oil spray. I really like Trader Joe's, um, the spout on it. Got some celery hearts because I can snack on those right now. I've got some baby broccoli. I got um, some trimmed asparagus, two things of that. Um, I got picked up some another thing of organic cilantro to put on my salads, and some dill. I really like making stuff with dill. I got these Cumada Cumado. Brown tomatoes, um, product of Mexico. I've never had them. They look delicious. And so I was thinking that might be kind of nice to add to the salad to change it up. Some more heirloom. I don't really like traditional tomatoes, as you guys can see. So I always try to find, like, different kinds of tomatoes. And they're just sweeter. Got some English cucumbers. Um, an avocado. I picked up some more of that gluten-free rolled oats. Um, I am almost out of the other one. I picked up some more raw almonds. Um, oh, and I love Trader Joe's because they have these cute little sweet potatoes. And they're like the perfect little serving sizes. I think they're like three to four ounces. Just what I need. I picked up my favorite uh, shaving cream, Honey Mango with aloe vera and vitamin E. I swear I have the most sensitive skin ever when I shave, and this stuff is amazing. So, got that. And then I don't have a multivitamin, and I'm too lazy to go to the nutrition store, and I don't feel like ordering it online. I figured I'd try this one. I know, sounds crazy, but um, I have, uh, so I have the first one, uh, first form multivitamin that I ordered online, but I haven't gotten it yet. So I figured this was cheap, it was like six bucks. I'll eat this until. I get my first form multivitamin, which, um, by the way, is really, really good. Gives me a lot of energy. I just, I really like the, the vitamin that they have. I got some more baby spinach. One of my favorite salsas that Trader Joe's has is the Serrana Salsa Fresca. I also really like the salsa especial. I cannot talk today. Um, it's really spicy. More liquid egg whites. Diced onions. I picked up some of the um, turkey breasts. So this isn't like the fillets. It's like actual turkey breast meat. Um, really, really good. I picked up, I've been really loving these chicken tenders instead of chicken breasts. They're easier to cook. They do get a little jerky type. I mean, they, they're not as moist, but I don't care. I really like them with the salsa on it. Um, or if you take these and you cook them and you dip them in like Frank's Red Hot or something, you know, you have like hot wings. It's just really, really good. And I'm grilling these and they're easy because I barely have to measure them. Each of them is like two to three ounces. Um, so they're just great for prep, especially when you're prepping as much food as I do. So, and then I picked up some extra lean ground turkey. Um, you guys know about my ground turkey situation. And a lot of you guys said that you like, um, you've been adding a little bit of water to your ground turkey with the spices, and um, it's just really, really good. So is that all I got? Yeah. That's all I got. So I'm going to make myself hmm, my second meal, which consists of 10 almonds. I had taken it with me just in case I didn't make it home in time. Um, let me just find it. Okay. 
uh, just consists of chicken and celery and wherever I put my almonds I can't really find them okay that's fine um, yeah so just heat up some of this chicken and uh, I will do another meal prep video I'm trying to like change up the meal prep videos. I know they're like kind of redundant. It's like, hey, yeah, here's me cooking again. But anytime I do something a little different or there's a tip, then I will add that in there um, for you guys. And then of course, leave your questions down below. And then every time I do a meal prep Sunday video, I can make sure to kind of address those questions um, in that particular video. So leave them down below on this video and then I will work on that the next time I cook. So anyways, I'm gonna try this sparkling mineral water and I'll tell you how this I'm gonna taste it. It smells really good. Maybe it'll just make me feel like I'm drinking like orange soda or something. Anyways, let me just show you. I'm just heating up my chicken on the stove like this. And it'll be a little dry, but I am gonna put a little bit of this on top. So that'll make it nice. All right, let's taste this. really tasty. That's really good. Hmm. It's a nice little change. All right, I'll take it. Mental note, I remember why I like the first form multivitamin. Because it doesn't smell like a vitamin and doesn't taste like a vitamin. Like, I kind of taste it like a vitamin. Which is really disgusting. <laughs> All right, there's my meal number two. Hey guys, so I'm actually, I'm upstairs, and um, I just made lunch. I um, took some of that salsa fresco, it was so good, from Trader Joe's, and I just have broccoli, uh, brown rice, and some chicken. And I'm just working on a few emails. Um, I am uh, kind of coaching or mentoring, um, motivational coaching um, a few people, and I'm really excited about it. Um, it gets me excited because, you know, we've all been at certain stages in our life. And I'd say, gosh, it's been two and a half years now. Um, when I finally, you know, you have that moment, that aha moment. Everybody has it. Um, but you just wake up one day and you're like, I'm done. I'm done trying to figure out a, a way to, you know, cheat my way out of getting to where I want to be. I'm done with all the diets and all the fad things that I've tried. I'm done with trying to take pills and I'm done. I'm ready to just change the way I live and be happy. Um, and I remember feeling that way. Um, I was so sick of waking up and like t trying on my clothes and throwing them on the floor and being pissed and crying and not wanting to go out and um, yeah, so I just, I totally can relate. So when I get emails from you guys and, you know, you're telling me your struggles, I know, believe me. Um, sadly, they don't ever really go away because, you know, you get to a certain point and you want to be somewhere else. But you learn how to appreciate where you are and you also are just much happier whenever you're going towards something and you know that it's right. So whether I'm at my goal or not, as long as I take each day and, and make sure that I'm what I'm doing is going to get me closer to that goal, it feels better and you're happier because you know that what you're doing is going to get you there. And yeah, there comes times where you're like, okay, why isn't this working? You know, I'm doing everything right, but that's normal because it's not going to happen right away. Um, I love these transformations, you know, 12 weeks. I did it. Um, but I was pissed at the end. I was like, how come I don't look like the bikini competitors that are on stage right now? Um, yeah, it's, it's just like a harsh reality that, you know, some of these people, 
they've been doing this for 10 years. You know, just because you started a year ago doesn't mean that it's going to happen for you overnight. So anyways, I'm just really enjoying reading everybody's comments and the sweet emails that you guys send me. And I do my best to respond to everybody. I just feel like I always have this like huge checklist of things to do um, on Saturday that I want to do, but I can never get to them, you know, and then spend time with my family tonight. Um, so anyways, I did want to take a moment though, before I started eating, to show you some of the items that I've put up on my store. Um, and I'll do like little videos to get a little more in depth. But there's some really great pieces, like for instance, this is one of my favorite pieces that I just put up. And it's like this tunic, really like nice material. And I love these like ribbed um, shoulders. And it's a pretty long one. So I feel like with skinny jeans and some cute little booties, this would be just so cute. It's a little big on me and that's why I'm not going to wear it anymore. Um, this blazer is a really nice blazer. It's kind of big on me now. It's size 12. Um, I just think it's so gorgeous with some jeans again um, or with a pencil skirt for work. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's 100% silk. I love the color. I feel like with bright pink lipstick and like some shorts. Oh, so cute. This one's going to go up soon. Um, this is a designer one that's going to go up. It's gorgeous. Um, I've got a few other dresses. This one is up there now. I love this lace. Um, this is a new one that will go up soon. I've got this H&M one up already. Um, and that's a really cute little, like, I love that when I got that. Um, one of my favorite vintage dresses. Um, it is a little see-through, so I think I wore tights when I wore it. Um, let's see what else. There's just so many things. I've got some really great jeans. Um, these are Joe's jeans um, that just went up. I have a pair of Trina Turk jeans that are going to be going up soon for any shorties. They're really short on me, so that's why I didn't wear them. Really cute little bag. Um... Oh, I've got this J. Crew skirt that's really cute that's going to go up. Size 10 is too big on me now. This is a gorgeous one of my favorite Banana Republic skirts. Um, I wore it once um, and it's too big on me now, but it's got like this really cute ruffle detailing. So I'll be hanging that up. Um, I've got a vintage top here that I love. So I don't know when this video is going to go up, but there's just so many things. Oh, and I have this um, Kate Spade bag that um, is really gorgeous too. Um, it's a cute little... I feel like it'd be really cool for a little girl, like her first Kate Spade or something. Anyways, alright, just wanted to show you guys that. I'm shipping out some more things. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to edit. I have a few videos that I want to do, so i eat my food and I'll talk to you guys later. The hubby knows the way to my heart. Water. Gum. And coffee. Hey guys, um, cardio is done, and I just wanted to show you what I'm taking to my dad's house. Um, I'm going to take some onions to saute. I uh, pre-packaged my almonds in here. There's 15 almonds. Cut up my chicken. Made some celery sticks. And I've got my salad in here. I know it's not a lot. This is, this is prep, and um, I try to keep my calories really low at night. Because um, usually I'm not moving much after dinner. Um, so, so many guys ask why I don't eat a lot of fruit, and I do eat a lot of fruit, um, but when I'm on competition prep, it's just, it has a lot of sugar, so I start to cut it out about six weeks out. So I usually eat blueberries and strawberries and bananas. Um, the fruit is really good for you, it's just when you're eating like all the different kinds of things, you know, I just, I try to keep a balance, that's all. Um, but fruit is great. I think it's great to add in your oatmeal as a snack, like apples. I, I love having apples with like my rice cake and peanut butter. It's like one of my favorite meals. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna pack my lunch bag here, and um, I'll be up. Probably won't film for the rest of the night, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Edwina is coming over because we're gonna be filming. I don't know what time she's coming, but I'm excited about that. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night.